Good morning, Red Lion. I'm Bree. And I'm Brooke. We have some important announcements for you today, so please listen up. Hey, Brooke, are you excited for prom? Yes, I am. It's this weekend, actually. As you all know, prom is this Saturday from 6 to 9 at Wisehaven Event Center. If anyone takes pictures at prom, please send them to Maria Baker at bakerms at rlschools.net. Now let's send it over to Mackenzie with World News. Welcome back to World News. I'm Mackenzie, and here's what's been happening in the world. In Australia, there has recently been a Twitter debacle between two political figures. One politician, Mark Latham, has recently been making homophobic tweets directed at another politician whose name is Alex Greenwich. Greenwich, however, does not stand for this. According to The Guardian News, he says, Enough is enough. I've been openly gay in public life for 15 years, and never have I experienced such a homophobic attack that exposed me. Greenwich also happens to be a member of the New South Wales Parliament, and he has been for 10 years. He is working with them and the Anti-Discrimination Board of NSW to make sure that Latham faces some sort of punishment for his direct discrimination against Greenwich. If you haven't heard, Ukraine is currently on their 434th day of the Russian invasion, and here is what the reports say. Pope Francis reported that the Vatican is trying to organize a peace mission to hopefully stop the conflict, but the Pope can't say anything else publicly yet. The number of people in poverty in Ukraine has recently reached 7.1 billion, and people are getting so desperate for money that they are selling their appliances and cell phones. As of Sunday, the number of children that have been killed in this tragic war has reached 477. Russia is still not giving up, but neither is Ukraine. They are prepared for military forces to attack at any given time. If you feel so inclined, here are some links to donate to Ukraine. If you can't donate, share the links and spread the word about what is going on over there so others can donate and be a part of their fight. That's all for World News Today. Now back to the main announcements. Thank you, Mackenzie. If you're looking for more information or additional content, check out our YouTube channel with segments like Mental Health with Mar. There will be a new episode tomorrow. Now here's a weather update with B. Good morning, Red Lion. I'm V for a quick update on your weather forecast. Tonight, you can expect it to be mostly cloudy and slightly chilly with possible showers and a high of 50 with a low of 40. Tomorrow, you can expect it to be partly cloudy skies and a high of 57 with a low of 41. Wind gusts will be up to 12 miles per hour with briefly chance of rain beginning midday. Now back to our hosts. Thank you, V. That is all for today's announcements. Make sure you stay tuned for today's birthdays. Have a wonderful Wednesday and, and stay, stay safe, Red Lion. Lion.